Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. I'm Jack Berry and I'm with Bill Shriver who is the general manager of Arcadia Bluffs which is just about the most spectacular site in Michigan, not only Michigan golf but uh, a whole lot of other places. Bill, good to see you again. Th thank you Jack, you're very kind, it's good to see you again. And I, uh, I think I saw a commercial for Arcadia Bluffs and with all the new uh, property that you've got there with uh, the, uh, you started out with a trailer and now it's Tell us all about the, the lodging. Yes, the lodging's come along nice. Uh, we started with the rooms upstairs. That was in 2010, 2011. We have 15 guest rooms upstairs, and then last year we opened the cottages. And we have four cottages. Uh, two of them have king beds, two of them have twins, but they're all four bedroom, four bath, about 2,000 square feet. And they're along hole number two and hole number three, and they're just spectacular, and they've been very well received. Well, tell us about uh, the golf course, which is always in the top, top of, every, of almost every magazine that I see. Well, we appreciate that. And, and, you know, our philosophies is we always want to be better. We want to be better tomorrow than we are today. And so last year, well, in the fall of 2013, uh, we re redid five of the greens to make them more playable. Uh, and so now we've redone half the greens since the original design. And every year we have a bunker project. Uh, we try to do 10 to 12 bunkers a year, the sidewall bunkers to rebuild them because they tend to deteriorate over time. And uh, every year we just try to make it better. And, and I think that makes a difference. People know that you're, you're trying to improve it for them. And it certainly helps us with activity, but also helps with the pace of play. And that just makes the wheel go around and makes it better for everybody. You mean there aren't any more four putt greens? Depends on who's playing. I saw Art out there last year, and there was at least four putts there. But uh, uh, working on the greens, I think they they did have a little reputation of being a little severe. They did, and if you ask uh, Warren Henderson and Rick Smith, the designers, what they would say is there's not a flat spot on the property, so why would you have flat greens? But they may have overdone it in a couple spots, and so we've certainly softened them up, and, and it's all been feedback from the guests. Uh, you know, after you hear something enough times, you say, well, maybe we should, maybe we should fix that. And um, the change we made to number 18 has probably been the best received, hole number 18, green number 18, because it's the, the last taste in people's mouth. And, and now they come off and, you know, the, it's, it's just much better. Absolutely. You want them to leave happy. Absolutely. And uh, how has play been for you? It goes up every year. Uh, we haven't had a year uh, where we've gone backwards. Uh, and again, I think that att we attest that to the improvements that we make. And people know that when they come to Arcadia, you know, it's a special experience for them, and and it's important for us, and and it's important for us that they have a good time, and and we try to treat every guest individually, and it's it's working out well. I'll talk a little bit about the view from every hole of uh, a kind of a large lake. It is a large lake, and and I can, I, I wish I had a dime for everybody that asks if that's Arcadia Lake. I <laughs> know, uh, but I, it's funny you should ask that because we see it every day. The cars pull into the circle drive and the guys get out and it's it's like they're seeing Santa Claus. They just kind of stop and they look and the first thing they do is they get their you know they get their phones out and take pictures and then it kind of catches up and they unload and they come in and they just walk right by you like you're not even there and it just it's like a magnet. It really is and it's just it's spectacular it never gets old looking at it and and 
people come there for that experience and for the calmness that it that the property provides and the lake has a big part of it well the uh Whistling Straits on the other side of, on the other side of the lake at some uh, PGA Tour uh, television, but uh, you know they're on the on the sunrise side. You're on the on the romantic sunset side. Yes, right? the, yeah, yeah, we have some sunsets up there, and now with the lodging, uh, you know, a lot of couples, yep. uh, a lot of people in the chairs. You see, everybody's seen the pictures, and and uh, if you haven't been to the website in a while, we have a beautiful flyover that's on there, a beautiful 3D flyover, and. And the sunsets are pretty spectacular. About 180 days a year. Do you have a, you have a, a bucket list course? Do you get people coming from all around the country? To... All around the country and all around the world. It's it's fabulous. I mean, Jack, it's such an experience to work there because you just never know who's going to walk in, and it doesn't matter who they are. You know, a regular Joe like us, or you know, a big shot celebrity. Um, they just. People come there for a reason, and 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 I'm proud to say I'll speak for the staff and the ownership is they don't leave disappointed. You know, it's just it's that experience, and, and every day we it's a challenge, but we we strive for perfection every day. I think you I think you hit it <laughs> because you're in the top ten of about everything, and obviously the play that you get and the people who love playing there, and that big lake view is unbeatable. Well, it was a pleasure speaking with you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Shriver, the general manager at Arcadia Bluffs up on the shores of Lake Michigan. Just a remarkable golf course and a remarkable, remarkable views.